Hello Grade 12s, today we'll look at personal income tax. Have you ever wondered how tax is calculated on a salary? This can be quite difficult to understand, so to help us make sense of the calculations, let's take a look at Michael. Michael is a human resource clerk at a local manufacturing business. Every month he receives a payslip which displays his income and the deductions that are made from his income. This is his payslip. The top section displays all of Michael's personal information. The bottom section displays the details of his monthly earnings, his monthly deductions and the year to date or YTD totals. Basic pay is the rate that he is being paid. Total earning is the total of all income from all sources. No deductions have been made from this amount, therefore this amount of money is his gross income. Other income sources may include payments such as commission, housing and travel subsidies, allowances, overtime and bonuses. The next section of the payslip shows the deduction made on the gross income. Pension fund contribution, tax and UIF or unemployment insurance fund are all deducted from Michael's pay. Other deductions can include medical aid contribution, car allowance, union subscriptions, insurance premiums and garnishes. These are payments that are deducted when ordered by a court in respect of debt owed. The third part of the payslip shows the total amount of both the income and the deductions for the year to date. We see the net pay reflected at the bottom. This is the amount that is deposited into Michael's account. Michael has had tax deducted from his salary. This money is paid to the government to help pay for services provided to the country. Everyone pays a different amount of tax and the amount they pay is based on the amount of money they earn. If someone earns below a certain amount, called the tax threshold, they don't have to pay any tax. For the 2013-2014 tax year, the tax threshold for taxpayers 65 years and younger was 67,111 Rand. For 65 to 74 years of age, the threshold is 104,611 Rand and lastly, for the 75 year olds and the older, the threshold value is 117,111 Rand. Tax is not always calculated on the gross salary. Some deductions are not taxable which means they are excluded from the income received when calculating the tax payable. In Michael's case, his pension contribution is not taxable, so before we calculate his tax, we need to subtract the pension from his gross salary. Gross salary of 8,124 Rand minus 609,30 Rand equals 7,514 Rand and 70 cents. This amount is Michael's taxable income. Let's look at the monthly deduction tables to determine how much Michael should be paying. Michael earns between 7,505 Rand and 7,515 Rand. This means he gets an annual salary of 90,120 Rand. He is under the age of 65, so his monthly tax deduction should be 345 Rand. Now, once the amount of tax has been determined, we subtract the sum of all the deductions from Michael's gross income. This will be his net income. Net income is also known as his take-home salary. At the end of the tax year, Michael's employer issues a document which details all money received by Michael as well as all the deductions made. In South Africa, we are able to file our taxes online. This system allows the taxpayer to submit their tax return via internet on the tax authority's tax platform. Due to the success of the system, taxpayers can be refunded within 48 hours after submission. But how do we determine if we need a refund? Let's look again at Michael. We see that he received 105,000 Rand and 612 Rand. This is his gross income. He has contributed 7,311 Rand. This amount is exempt from his tax. We now calculate the taxable income by subtracting the pension contribution from the gross income. 105,612 Rand minus 7,311 Rand equals 98,301 Rand. This means that the taxable income for Michael is 98,301 Rand. This table is supplied by the tax authority to enable taxpayers to calculate their own tax liabilities. The rate of tax is also known as the tax bracket. We can use these tax brackets to calculate the total amount of tax payable in one year. 
Tax rebate is the amount of money that the tax authority allows the taxpayer as a discount to their tax liability. They are awarded according to age. Tax thresholds are also classified according to age. If anyone earns below these amounts, they do not have to pay tax. Now to calculate Michael's tax, we use the value of his taxable income of 98,301 Rand, which we calculated earlier. Looking on the tax tables, we find in which salary band this income falls. Michael's taxable income of 98,301 Rand falls in the salary band of 0 to 165,600 Rand. Reading across, we find 18% of taxable income is the rate of tax. 18% of 98,301 Rand equals 17,694,18 Rand. We now have to deduct the rebate from this amount as follows. 17,694,18 Rand minus the primary rebate of 12,080 Rand, which equals 5,614,18 Rand. Now this amount is the amount of tax that is due that has been calculated from an income of 98,301 Rand. He has, however, paid tax throughout the year on his monthly salary, so now we need to calculate if he owes tax or if he's going to be refunded for excess tax paid. From the document, we see that an amount of 5,143,75 Rand has already been paid in taxes. We now need to subtract what Michael has already paid in taxes from the calculated amount due. 5,614,18 Rand minus 5,143,75 Rand equals 470,73 Rand. This means that Michael still needs to pay an amount of 470,73 Rand over to the tax collecting authority. Thank you for joining us, Grade 12s. Remember, the task for this section can be found in the Taxation and Exchange Rates task video. You'll also be able to learn more on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.